All right, so it's time for one month of the Bunchy update. Hello, Sora. Sora has joined us here today. She's gonna check on the Bunchies with us. All right. So here are my seedlings at one month old. And I'll try and get a nice zoom in. So we still got the diamaceous earth in to help against some of the slime issues that I spoke about on the blog post, and also the gnat. And if I get the camera close enough, you can see I've pruned it. I've topped it just there, and we're starting to get some back budding. That's the Pimenta Chauzo, how you pronounce it. Trepidina Warner, here. My Charapita never grew at all. We have our Mini Bell Orange. I'm excited for this one, it's very capsicum, I like the miniature. And the Numex Twilight has some really good back budding coming along. Now this one was the first one I back budded, oh, sorry, I topped. Um, and this is the Marbles variety. And it's much darker green compared to, for example, the Starfish here. You can tell the difference in colours. But it seems to also, if I can find the camera and the lens, it seems to be getting a decently thick trunk very fast compared to, for example, the starfish. So its trunk and back budding is really good on this species by the looks of it. And while some of them, like the mini bell orange, want to grow tall, this guy seems quite happy to be compact. Then we have my Bolivian Rainbow, which is growing quite slowly compared to the others. I just topped him, I think it was yesterday. So he'll, you can see he started to put out those little green new sheets. Uh, we have the Aji Jabita back here, which has very rounded leaves compared to, again, the Marbles, which has very long, elongated leaves. And the Starfish. Now, if you're also interested, my miniature tomatoes are growing really well. And these have been a bit of a hit with the family because everyone's commenting on how they're, they're matte. They're not shiny like a classic tomato. We still have Sora here, assisting. <laughs> Hello, are you helping us? So, my strawberries, I never really got these to work. They've still got petals on this one, but the strawberries just never were quite right. They had, I don't know if I've got any that are grown on this one, uh, but they just were always misshapen. Here's one of my other tomato plants that has taken off, and we've got a lot of green fruit growing on these. Oh, I've got, and they're currently on the floor just because they're taking up so much space. We'll just look at the tomatoes and the colour shift. And here we have some piccolino basil. If you can see it, he's got a nice trunk starting to develop, but he's got a lot of lower growth fat. You can't see the trunk very easily. But this one here is a singular piccolino basil. And as you can see, if I sort of get a better angle, He's got really nice tiny little leaves, it's very bushy. He's going to make a great bonsai eventually. And he's delicious. We put our rhubarb at the back. And for the bonji update, that's pretty much it. We've planted a couple more seedlings. The ones at the back have germinated, that's the bonzi. And here I have bird's eye baby. So they've both germinated, but the ones at the front aren't germinating. And as you can see, I'm still getting a mold issue there. The rock wall looks way too wet. And uh, what was there germination on that guy? I think there might be some germination there. Let me stick my head in. Yes. If you look very closely, he's got little sprouts coming through. Got some of the lettuce. Red leaf lettuce growing, they're gonna be good. They grow really well in the warm temperatures. One of my older capsicums, I can't remember which one's which. One's a red, one's a uh, yellow, and uh, there's three here. 
One's red, one's yellow, and one I think is actually a jalapeno, to be honest. And for some reason this guy here stayed half the height, or one third of the height of the other two. So he's one there, one way off the screen, and one's here. So I don't know why there's the three different heights, maybe different species, or we know they're different varieties. And finally, my oldest pepper plant at the moment is this one here, the jalapeno. It's starting to get a bit too heavy for his container. And if I can find any, there's one around here somewhere. There is actual jalapenos, aha! Some jalapenos actually growing on him now. It started to grow on the jalapeno tree and he's had he's been topped a couple times so I don't know if I'll be able to show you but I've come in and I've topped him you know around here and then he's grown out new bits and then I topped him again and so he stayed really nice and compact and once he gets I may not even need to top him again to make him into a, a bonchi at this point he is really good but I will definitely need to come in and remove excess leaves and maybe some of the excess branching long term for him but I'm going to give him a full season to grow and to thicken up some of this trunk it's only just started to get some of that woody bark texture coming on it and that's mostly in the lower section here this section here you can see there is a little bit of uh, wooding but not an overall huge amount so I'm waiting for him to thicken up a little bit more before I come back in and start bunching him. And yeah, finally, a whole bunch more of tomatoes that are soon to be ripe. A nice good view of... They look very shiny because my grow lights are really strong, but they're actually really sort of matte and dull looking. But they look really cool. They look almost like a toy. Like someone's made a toy out of these tomatoes. So that's it for this month's update, or this week's update. Uh, one month old bonchis, mostly, except for those seeds up there, which are about six days old, I think, for the little tiny seedlings. Right. See you guys!